Welcome back to another NBA video, and after Game 1 of the Western Conference Finals, I'm going to be talking about the Lakers' problem that they have with D'Angelo Russell, the point guard that they traded for at the trade deadline with hopes that he would be the point guard of the future in his second stint in the purple and gold, but basically, Game 1 was not his best game in the playoffs, and he's had a couple good games this playoffs, but overall, there's just a lot of inconsistency, and what we've seen a couple times is his ability to get played off the floor. It started in their first play-in game against the Timberwolves he had to get benched basically the whole second half and a lot of times they found themselves in big situations having to rely on Dennis Schroeder or even Lonnie Walker that one game against the Warriors over D'Angelo Russell and last night for example he had eight points on four of 11 shooting and he was a team worst minus 25 in a game that they lost by six points they actually made their comeback when he got benched for the second half Michael Malone he was talking about it post game he said in game one a guy that's played really well for them was not on the floor in the fourth quarter in D'Angelo Russell. That to me is an interesting storyline. Are they going to play him? Are they not going to play him? So Michael Malone becoming a media member now and speculating with this storyline of D'Angelo Russell. Will he play or will he not play? And so far with the Lakers right now, he's averaging 11.5 points per game on just 39% shooting and 18.8% from the three-point line. That's not for the Lakers as a whole. That's just in the playoffs after he had an interview that was saying he was held back in Minnesota and he felt like the third option even though he's still playing behind Anthony Davis and LeBron James so definitely some interesting comments and he hasn't exactly showed out since those comments but now as far as them benching him in the second half there's some conversation could they move him to the bench to start Dennis Schroeder as their full-time point guard but now we're getting some reports that they fear D'Angelo muscle D'Angelo Russell might take issue with coming off the bench in the NBA playoffs last year with the Timberwolves he actually got benched for basically the whole post season series especially in the big moments too but they feel like they might lose him mentally he won't be as engaged in the team or anything like that and the interesting thing that I think is they traded for him with the intention that he'd become the point guard of the future but now I feel like you really have to think if you want to pay him this money because obviously he's not going to be extremely cheap he's going to be commanding a big contract and he's going to get it from one team or the other but if you're the Lakers with Anthony Davis and LeBron James in the point of their careers that they are can you just justify yourself paying a lot of money to a point guard in D'Angelo Russell that has the ability to get played off the floor in the big time moments and not exactly be a consistent playoff player so I don't know I think they really have to think if they want to go forward with D'Angelo Russell or if they look for alternative options even just try to extend an internal guy like Dennis Schroeder because he has played very well and also defensively there could definitely be some times where he can get targeted Dennis Schroeder he's a very he's proven to be a very good defender this post season but Bruce Brown and the Nuggets said the game plan was to attack Russell on every possession his quote was he's not the best defender so we wanted to make it tough on him and it definitely worked and it definitely showed let me know your thoughts on this what should the Lakers do moving forward